Hi, my name is Jeff. And my name is Patty. And since we are married, we no longer need these masks because we've been married for 26 years and have four children, and we are both core members of the marriage ministry. Many of us are experiencing stress and insecurity in our personal lives during these times of social distancing, health fears, financial insecurity, and isolation. We, in the marriage ministry, would like to provide you with simple tools and strategies to assist your attempts to keep your marriages and your loved ones emotionally and spiritually connected and peaceful. In this way, we, not the church's physical buildings, are the domestic church that has existed since our church's beginnings over 2,000 years ago. Please follow us on this journey by doing the tools with each other that we are demonstrating in each of our di several different YouTube videos. These are proven strategies to stay connected with our spouses and families. Our hope is to enrich your repertoire of tools by providing emotional safety and at the same time expressing love, acceptance, and happiness during times of distress. So enjoy and may God bless your family. One of the symptoms of COVID-19 is that your body temperature is above normal. How do we detect this symptom? Certainly the easiest way nowadays is to take your temperature with a thermometer, a tool like the one that Patty is holding. In this case, the tool helps us determine if a symptom is present. If the symptom is present, then further action can be taken to address the root cause of the symptom, like contacting your doctor. It's normal, or you're normal. Well, the temperature's normal. So how can we detect the symptom of something going wrong with our marriage? We can use the daily temperature tool for marriage. Like with a thermometer, the more we use it to establish a baseline, a normal reading, the easier it is to detect when something is not quite right. The daily temperature tool is simply engaging with one another to share appreciations for each other, new information, puzzles, one minor complaint with requests for change, and lastly, any wishes, hopes, and dreams. When sharing, you want to have good eye contact and face each other to eliminate distractions. Holding hands or some other form of physical contact is also a good idea. So here is the list of the five items to cover as we demonstrate this for you. Patty will be going first. Okay, here we That's go. Good. All right. So, um, hold it. All right. Jeff, I really appreciate when, well, for one thing, when you brought me coffee this morning. It's, I, I know you don't like coffee yourself, but I, so I really appreciate what you took the time to bring me coffee in bed this morning. Good. What I really appreciate about you is how you've been continuing to make all the meals for our family and actually incorporating the girls' help as, since they're home from college and uh, incorporating them into your meal making. Uh, new information, I am still working on trying to find where we're going to be staying for Joshua's wedding. I have it narrowed it down to four places, but I'm trying to make it logistically the best place for us. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, I want to let you know that I actually canceled our uh, plane reservations last night and rented the trailer for our trip for our son's wedding. Okay. Um, puzzle is, uh, for me, is... Even five days out, four days out from leaving for our trip, for our son's wedding, it's still, there's still so much unknown. I mean, so many things could change, and I question whether we're even going to be able to go. Um, a puzzle for me that I've been thinking about is actually the weather and just driving the long distance that we have to travel and how that's going to impact our uh, travels with the trailer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, one minor complaint or request for change. Um, I've noticed that, as I'm sure you have, that I leave stuff on the bed sometimes. And so I notice that you go to bed sometimes with stuff still on the bed. And my request, uh, would I would prefer instead that you just remind me that I still have stuff on the bed and needs to be taken off so I'm not trying to climb into bed with all the stuff on the bed and waking you. You up too. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I have a very similar request for change in that I should say, um, I have noticed that you have not been you've been coming to bed very late lately, doing a lot of preparation. 
and I would request that you actually come to bed at a similar time and wake up earlier in the morning with me. Okay. Um, wishes, hopes, and dreams. I am just, I'm very hopeful that, well, I know that Joshua's, they're going to get married. Josh and Ryan are going to get married this weekend, um, next weekend. No, this weekend. And I'm just very um, hopeful that we will be there in, at our son's wedding. And actually, one of the dreams and hope I have actually was dealing with Josh's wedding as well, and that is that, that God will bless him and just enrich him and his uh, future wife's marriage and that they may be blessed with children as well as their heart desires. Thanks for sharing, honey. Thank you. So we have done something similar to this with our children during these trying times. We did a live virtual Bible study every day for a half an hour, but either at the beginning or the end, we were able to find out how each of the, our children are coping in their lives in their respective environments as we shared appreciations for each other, new information, concerns, and our future wishes, hopes, and dreams. We hope that, you, that this has been helpful and that you use this new tool for growth of your marriage and for your family. Thank you and God bless. Blessings to you all.